It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal for Korea. It's a goal for Korea. Korea has equalized. It's the number 19 guy. Wow. That's a great corner and a great execution. So that's the goal they wanted because they need to equalize in this match if they want to qualify for the next round. They needed this and they have done that. Yes, it's a goal. It's a goal for South Korea. Can you believe that? It's 1-1 in this important match between Portugal and South Korea. They need this goal. In fact, they need to win this match to qualify for the round of 16 for the one stage. And that was greatly scored. 28 minutes have passed. South Korea have equalized. This amazing South Korean team with their captain, Heung Min Sun. I, I really appreciate that goal because South Korea is one of those teams. They are really hardworking. They are really disciplined. They know very well what they need to do. Counter attack. Heung Min Sun. Heung Min Sun. Heung Min Sun. Heung Min Sun. They are on counter. They are on counter. They are on counter. It's a goal. It's a goal. Oh my goodness. It's a goal. It's a goal for Korea. It's a goal for South Korea. Can you believe that? And who else? Heung Min Sun. The greatest South Korean player in their history has just scored, has just assisted, not scored, to go through to the World Cup knockout stage. Can you believe that? If it happens, they will qualify for the knockout stage over Uruguay. Heung Min San just assisted, I think the best assist in his life. Ah, I don't understand this man. Look at that, look at that. There was no one. It makes no sense why there are so many players for a corner which means nothing for Portugal. There was only one defender. It's like they are losing the match. They are not losing the match. They are drawing the match. Even a draw is better than, far better than losing this match to South Korea. And I'll not talk about the team selection because I agree to that in some points because they needed to test some of the bench players and that's what Fernando Santos did. But the way he used his sub, he shouldn't have taken Ronaldo so early from the match to sub Cristiano was a bad decision. That was a very bad decision. He should have kept him till the end of the match. But it was not necessary and look at that. Look at the emotion of the South Koreans. They are crying. They are crying their hearts out because they thought they are done and out. But all of a sudden, the best player in the history, Heung Min San, is on offside. It's on offside. That guy, he is playing him on. That is history. South Korea will qualify if they win this match because of goal difference. And Uruguay, they will go home. Unbelievable. You can see the, all the South Koreans, they are really happy. They are jumping on the stands. They are dancing on the stands. They are singing on the stands. Everything understandable. And I totally feel their feelings. But I don't understand as a Portuguese fan what happened with the subs. He should have brought on players like Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Silva or Joao Felix even. I understand you are testing your bench strength but when you are down and out, you are drawing the match against South Korea, bring in more impetus to win this match. And when the match is done almost, you can't get anything from this match. You are putting so many men forward for a corner. For what reason? Just put there four or five players then keep your defense intact. If you did that, you would not in this group stage with a loss and the match is gone guys the match is done and it's South Korea who has beaten Portugal the mighty Portugal by two goals to one and you can see Heung Min San he's crying all the players they're crying the crowd they're crying the people the supporters the fans back home at South Korea they're crying but the way they have played the way they have shown their character against a mighty team like Portugal they deserve to go through to the knockout stage